Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bone show. We're so thrilled to have back on the show an incredible country music singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, Alex Miller. Oh, man, I, I, I have to give you $20 for an intro <laughs> like that, I'm telling you. You know what? It's so much more fun. I think last time we had to do the interview, it was like remote and all that stuff, and we've done radio interviews, but I've got you in person in in studio. Yes, you know, I walked in, and the first thing he asked me was to change a light bulb. He said, there ain't nobody in here tall enough to do it but me. <laughs> you know, you are tall, but I mean, but also very tall. Talented. Oh, uh, shit. Particularly with this new EP that's out now, Country. Yes. You know, and I thought you did great with Miller Time. Well, I had a Miller Time with it, too. Well, and also, I got you know, you had like uh, three hits come off that. I did, yes. Uh, through With You, Barn Door, and then the, the I'm Over You Should Get Over Me, though. There's some good songs on well, that. Well, I'll tell you what, there's some great songs on here, too. And you and I were talking, Alex, and, and I love your voice and, and the traditional country, but it's like, I, there's so many putting up hay. Yes. And, and you got a music video for that. Oh, it's and, fantastic. And you and I both know, coming out of the country like we have, we have bailed some hay. I've definitely spent my time on a, on a Massey Ferguson. <laughs> let's put it that way. And uh, I, I, was the, I was my granddaddy's raker. So Were I you? got the easy job, really. See, I was the stacker. Oh, no. So they, was, you I, they would throw the bales at me. Oh. And so, you know, yeah. So Rocky Limer and his dad is like, you know, out there in, in Missouri to where I was trying to catch them and get them stacked. So oh, you shoot. had to rake them. Yes, I was raking, yes. But, uh, of course, we were doing, we did some squares. We did a lot of roll bales, I right, too. Right, right. But uh, that's, that's, that square bale, hey, that's a whole other subject. Uh, it's, yeah. that's, that's some hard work Well, right let's there. talk about this music video, though, now. You yes. shot this on location. I did, yes. We did it out in Sedalia, Missouri, at yep. the Missouri State Fair. I have been there. It was, we was there for like three or four days mm -hmm. doing some, uh, some shows and things. And so we had uh, got a hold of an actress, and she was said, well, should, I'll come out and do it. And... And they got the film crew out there, and we put it all together, and it turned out really, really good. And uh, it just kind of, uh, kind of documented our trip out there to Missouri, and uh, it was, it was just a fantastic video, and I definitely put up some hay in that one. Too. <laughs> well, I want to bring this up too, Alex, because uh, I mean, I love your voice, and you know, and and certainly Miller Time was such a great album, really helped put you on. Besides, I mean, your time on American Idol, mm -hmm. you know, to where you know, season 19, I mean, millions of people saw you play but it seems like you, you're really finding your voice and your instrumentation. Yes. And, you know, and I know you had to go budget-wise because you couldn't afford the best musicians on this new EP. <laughs> I no. mean, I looked at the list of these artists you got playing with you on this EP, and I'm like going, how did Alex afford this? I mean, you know, I mean, how are you, are you selling guitars? Well, I, 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 I might have to now, <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I tell you, the, the guys I've got on that record, there's some fantastic musicians. I, from Steel, I got Mike Johnson, you know, right. he's a legendary. And then I got James Mitchell on guitar. <sighs> And then, uh, you know, uh, just everybody on that record is just fantastic. Uh, and, and, you know, Miller Time was that way, too. Right. You know, I had Brent Mason on that one. Yeah, so, I remember. Um, so having these guys, and, they, and a lot of them are, uh, Janae Fleener was also on right. this new record. But uh, your yeah. voice sounds lower on this new album. I mean, it's like, you know, When God Made the South. I yeah. mean, what a, what a great song. Uh, getting Lucky in Kentucky. <laughs> I, I love the, uh, the Travis style picking in that. Oh, yeah, the... the that yeah, kind of, yeah, I, I love that. Uh, that was uh, that's from my Kentucky roots. You know, right. I wanted to try to get that all in there. Well, uh, being the pride of Lancaster, Kentucky, you do have to reflect this wherever you go. And I got to bring this up too. I mean, you know, certainly when we talked last time, you know, you were opening for huge names. I mean, Brooks and Dunn, you know, mm -hmm. Chris Jansen. The list goes on and on. Now. This past year, you've been headlining tours. I have been headlining. How's, how's that? I mean, you got your own bus? Yes, I, I do. We and got it's a, not like a minivan; it's a bus. No, it's a bus. Okay, yeah, it's it's the real deal. <laughs> uh, we we got it uh, last February, and uh, we've we've really been enjoying running down the road in it. it it's a lot better than a sprint, sprinter van, I'll tell you that. Much. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I mean, you know, the festivals and everything. It seems like you're really finding your fan base, and mm -hmm. I know on TikTok, you've been exploding with your fans, with the videos and everything yeah. else you do. But you know, not only are you sharing of your personal life, but also your music, Alex. Mm -hmm. You know, the way I look at it is, you know, I can't shake everybody's hand, but my music can. Right. And so that's that's the way I get out. And uh, I, you know, people who listen to my music, they get to know me because my music, I, I'm as honest and genuine in my music as I am sitting here with you. Right. Well, you know, speaking of which, American FFA degree. Yes. How did this come together? Well, I've been an FFA member since I was uh, a freshman in high school. Mm -hmm. I, I joined up. My, my aunt was actually a, a state officer 
Right. And my granddad was a, a, a our chapter president. Ah, okay. And so I, I was kind of just in my lineage to to be a part of FFA. And uh, you know, my my aunt, she has her American degree. My dad has his American degree. And wow. I need to get mine too. Look, and, you're official now. Well, I, I think so. <laughs> and uh, so I went to Indianapolis uh, just a couple months ago and. Got that degree, and it was just a, it's just a way to end your FFA career in right. such a positive way and get that degree and hang it on the wall. It's, it's, it's really special hanging. Where well, I know besides the FFA also, Alex, that you've worked with other charities such as mm -hmm. Heroes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and, and doing that charity work, and certainly as your career continues to blossom and these new songs, I got a feeling that this with country just blowing up on country music radio. I got You know what else, too? You've become a hit over in Europe now. Well, yeah, I've been doing a little Europe work. That's been How's pretty How's that going? I mean, you know, I, I know with the European radio, they're playing you and interviewing you all the time. Yeah, Europe's pretty cool. I enjoy them folks <laughs> over there. Uh, we did, uh, I did a little program for the uh, radio station over there. It was mm -hmm. a monthly thing, and I would do country music, and right. I would play some of my favorite songs and have people request numbers. It was really a lot of fun. Well, you know, I got to bring this up too, Alex. Certainly, you know, growing up as you did and, and uh, you know, starting to play and perform at seven years old. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you've maintained that traditional country feel and sound like the people that, you know, that influenced you growing up. Right. What do you feel, you know, with young people? Because, you know, your audiences are filled with people of all ages. Mm -hmm. How do you feel this is resonating with bringing back more of the tra traditional country that you do? You know, I, I try not to call it even traditional country. I just call it good music. Right. It's just what I enjoy. It's just mm -hmm. Alex Miller music. There ain't no traditional thing about it. It's just what I like to do. And, uh, you know, the more I can say that and get that across to people, I think the more resonates with them. Because, I, like you said, I've got people coming to my shows that are my age, and I've got people that right. are they're in, their, uh, in their 50s and in their 60s. Right. So, um, you know, I, I, I take everybody. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't discriminate. Anybody can come to my show. Well, and I know they have been because you've been selling out shows everywhere you go, Alex, including playing at the Ryman Auditorium. Yes, I got that was, uh, that was a couple years ago right. with Rhonda. She invited me out to the, I'm eternally grateful. And to also Rhonda at Benson. the Bluebird. Yes, that was fun too. I got to do a Riders Round with uh, Jerry Sally, Wood Newton, and Carl Jackson, right. and then they got me up there to do and, a little And bit Jerry too. Sally produced. This EP he produced and your this last one, one. And the last one. Right. Yeah, Jerry's been a big part of my life. So, and, and not to put you on the spot, Grand Ole Opry. Well, I haven't got to do it yet. I, I assume it's coming up. Well, I hope so. Have you been booked? I've not. That's coming up then. Well, we hope so. <laughs> I think so. We, we put it out there in the area. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah. Because after on. playing the Ryman Auditorium, the Mother Church, well, you'd think and, and the be... Bluebird Cafe, and then yeah. I know every time you come down here to Nashville, uh, you know everybody wants to book you. Well, yeah, I get a lot of a lot of requests for coming places and doing mm -hmm. things. You know, I, I, my, the worst thing I hate doing is turning places down, but we have to do it anymore. Right. Well, and, because you're getting more popular. Well, I, I reckon that's the, I reckon that's the reason. <laughs> well, also, you know, what I think, what I love about this EP with Country, Alex, is that even though, you know, obviously you got a great band and, and all that, but it's like, but you can play these songs just with you and a guitar. Yes, and that's what I like about them, too. You know, I, I, if you can play a song acoustically mm -hmm. and do it right that way, then adding a band just going to add that much more to the song. Well, and also, you've had some great co-writers lately. Well, I have. Uh, the fact, this past Monday, I was writing with Byron Hill. And he wrote uh, Foolhearted Memory mm -hmm. and uh, Nights by Ed Bruce right. and a bunch of, bunch of great big hits for yeah. folks. And so maybe we'll have an Alex Miller hit, too. <laughs> I think so. It's, but it seems like you're doing more co-writing now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, besides being obviously based out of Lancaster, Kentucky, you know, but you're coming down to Nashville a lot more now. Well, yes, it feels like a home away from home. I know the streets here just about as well as I do in Lancaster. <laughs> <laughs> and you even produced your album over in uh, Ashland City, right? I did, yes, over with uh, in the Gorilla's Nest, as yep. they called over there. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Well, you know, besides playing incredible guitar and your voice just keeps sounding better and better, Alex, I just love it on this new EP. But, uh, you know, you've also been picking up steel guitar. Yeah, I've been playing lap steel for, well, I... I, I Picking at it for about about three years now. Really? Mm -hmm. So I mean, so how's it coming together? Are you doing like a single neck or a double neck? Well, I've got. Or I've actually, triple. I've got triple. I've got a triple neck fender with the pedals and all. No pedals. Okay. No pedals, which right. is a little tougher, really. Yeah, you got to got to bend behind the bar. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun, and uh, I do TikToks about them. In mm -hmm. fact, I've on my them. TikTok stuff, that's the most popular thing I do is play that steel guitar. Really? Yeah. What about the fiddle? Uh, let's just leave that fiddle in the case. I think that might be where it needs to stay. <laughs> I don't know. I like to hear you doing the fiddle, too. And also, obviously, you brought one of your vintage guitars, and you and I are both such yes. huge fans. And, and this is a beautiful 
Gibson Hummingbird. It is. This is from, I believe it's from about 1970. It's, mm. a, it's weird because it's got uh, three up here on the truss rod instead right. of two. So I think it's a transition year, but my favorite part is the signature here. Yeah. This is signed by uh, Hank Thompson, which wow. is a country music legend. Right. And, uh, this was my, actually one of my granddaddy's guitars. See, so. and that makes it even better. It does. It Something about it. keeping those family instruments, and I mean, you, you're taking such good care of it. And obviously, you play all your instruments, you know, oh, just yes. like myself, but it's just, you, you feel like you're curating them. I, in a way, I do, you know, especially with this one. I, this is one I'll keep for the rest of my life. Oh, totally. And, uh, the guy that he bought it from was the guy that actually was the first place I ever played. It was his guitar, and so Pat bought it from him, and wow. I'm going to hang on to it for the rest of my life. And if I ever do play the yeah. Opry, this is the one I'm going to take with me. I'm telling you, in between that and your Martins that I've seen you out yes, with also. Yes, I got a bunch of them. Yeah, it's like you kind of switch between some of those guitars. I do. And an occasional Telecaster. Yeah, I'm maybe, a big Maybe a custom-built one. Well, yeah, I've got a pretty nice, uh, there's a guy up in LaRue County, Kentucky that built me one, and it's what? almost like a Bigsby-inspired Telecaster. How Very incredible. cool. And then I got a guy up in New York that built me one as well. It's a, his name is Gary Halt, Halt Guitars, yeah. How awesome. Well, yeah, you and I kind of like instruments. Yeah, I've got, I've got more guitars than I do arms and legs. How many do you take on the bus? Uh, well, I'll, I take what I need, because we've got <laughs> limited space. So um, I always take a little lap steel with me that uh -huh. I can practice on. And then I take uh, two acoustics and two electrics. Well, then obviously I've got to ask you on this with the new EP out, and I know it's doing so well. I mean, every song on here, you just a girl, I know a guy. I love that song. Well, thank you. You know, and love like it. I said, the the maturity of your voice, you just keep getting better all the time. But um, what what's, what merch stuff are you doing? Well, we've got all kinds of stuff. We got everything from. I heard hats. you got some cool shirts. We do. We just put out a new shirt. It's kind of western style. You, you know, mean like, like on, me? Yeah. And so we just put that out not too long ago. And uh, it's uh, all kinds of stuff on that merch page. We, you know, I love my merchandise because I don't even have to go shopping for clothes anymore. <laughs> the thing I gotta buy is jeans. <laughs> and it's like going, wow, that looks like just on the website. I, yeah. Oh, it is. It is, it is on alexmillermerch.com. Well, That's and I price. wanted to make sure also, you know, for the EP, which I know a lot of people still love having the CDs, mm -hmm. and especially as a way to remember coming and seeing you live at the shows. Right. They can get these at the shows, but they can also get them on your website too, right? Yes, over at alexmillermerch.com. That's the place to go. And you got to get the physical CDs. And what we like to do is if you order them off that site, we'll sign them for you and send it to you that way too. That's a great gift too. It is. Well, and I, I've got to bring this up too. With everything you've got going, with, with TikTok, with the new music, what are you thinking about for this coming year? I, I, I've heard there's going to be some big tours, some big festivals. Yeah, we're going to probably going to do some state fairs. So y'all just make sure to check out my calendar mm -hmm. and, and uh, over at alexmillercountry.com. That's the best place to keep up with where I'm playing and what I'm doing. And to get their tickets early. Exactly. You because you never know, they might go quick too. You've been selling out shows, Alex. We've been doing I mean, fairly you know, decent. I know you're humble. You've been doing better than decent. I mean, when you can come <laughs> out like that, especially with Miller Time, I mean, you really just hit the ground running with Miller Time. And then I think this, once again, with country, you're taking it to the next level. We like you tried, and I were talking yeah. before we came in studio, it's like, I love every one of these tracks. I was telling people yesterday, it's like going, you gotta listen to this new you know, music from Alex Miller. Well, thank and, you. And it's on all the digital platforms too, but, oh, I, yes. but I think people want the hard copies. The hard copies are pretty nice, and you know, I, uh, make sure if you want one, to check us out over there at our site. That would be a great. And I'm pushing for when you do vinyl in the next year or so. Yes, too. he was wanting me, he's wanting me to do vinyl. I think that would be a good, I put think that'd be good. all the songs on. You know. Well, that's kind of the idea. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be good. Maybe to even put maybe some Miller Time songs on I there think too. I think so. Do kind of a compilation Yeah, record. you could do like acoustic versions. That might be a good cool. idea. That you know, and, I, idea. and some steel guitar would be nice in there. Yes, well, I, I know ah, somebody plays it. Do you? Yeah. That's awesome. Well, you know, if you need a little mando guitar or band guitar, you let me know. I'll give you a call. I, I can bring that in. Okay. And, I, and free. Free? Yeah, of course. Well, I'll give you a call tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you know, if you love uh, new country music as much as I do, this young man, Alex Miller, is making it happen. Country, every song on here is a hit. So if you're adding them to your digital playlist, don't just do one song. Go check him out. Also follow him on TikTok mm -hmm. because he needs one more fan. I That's think he's, exactly right. you know, he's going to be hitting the the 400k soon <laughs> on TikTok. We got to blow that up. That's right. But go see him live. You mm -hmm. know, because I'll tell you what, Alex, you are known for your live shows. Well, thank you. And that's what everybody loves. And uh, and you just show the passion that you have for the music. And you keep your songs just keep getting better. Well, thank you. The band, my band calls it the spectacle. <laughs> Whenever we play live, and, and they're, they're right. It's Alex 2.0. That's right. That's right. Making it happen every day. That's right. Well, I'll tell you what, congratulations on the new EP country. Thank you so much. Good to have you on the show. Good to be here. Alex Miller.
sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bones show. 